We're going to be solving these systems of equations by uh, graphing. Remember, remember that a system of equations is just more than one equation, and the solution is where the lines intersect. So the first one we're going to do is y equals x minus 1. We're going to do that in blue. We start with the y-intercept, which is at negative 1. So we go down 1, and we put a dot there. And then our slope, there's a 1 right in front of that. And 1 is the same thing as 1 over 1. This is positive slope, so we're going to go up and to the right from the first dot. So we're going to go up 1 and right 1. That gives us a second dot right here. We could do that again if we wanted to. There's nothing wrong with getting three points, but you only need two points for a linear equation. And then we're going to make a straight line that goes through all the points. And there will be some human error since I'm graphing this with my free hand. The next one we're going to do is y equals x plus 3. We'll do that in red. We start at the y-intercept, which is a positive 3. So we go up 3. We put a dot there. And our slope is, again, 1, which is the same thing as 1 over 1. So we're going to go up 1 and right 1 from that first dot, which gives us another dot right here. And again, we can do that again to get a third dot. Now I'm going to draw a straight line that goes through all the points. And you can tell that these are parallel, which you should have known because the slopes are both the same. And since they have a different y-intercept, there's no solution here. These lines will never cross each other. So this actually has no solution. So now we're going to graph y equals 1 fourth x plus 1. We put a dot at the y-intercept, which is right there at positive 1. That's the y-intercept, so we go up 1. And then from that, we're going to go up 1 and right 4 because our slope is 1 fourth. So from the first dot, we're going to go up 1. Right four gives us a dot right there. And we can do that one more time to get a third dot. That would be the point eight comma three. And then we draw a straight line that goes through them. Then we're going to graph y equals negative x plus six. So we're going to start the y-intercept, which is a positive six. So we go up six, we put a dot there. Our slope is negative one, which is the same thing as negative one over one. This is negative slope. So that means we're going to go down into the right. So from the first dot we put, we're going to go down one and right one. We can do that again, down one, right one. Then we can graph it. And as long as we make a straight line, where the lines intersect will be our solution. And it looks like the lines will intersect right here at the point 4, comma 2. Let's put that down here so we can actually read it. Note that we can check our answer, and I'm going to do it just for this one, that if we put 4 in for x and 2 in for y for both of these equations, it should be the same. So for the top equation, y equals 1 fourth x plus 1 will become 2 equals 1 fourth times 4 plus 1. 1 fourth times 4 is 1, and 1 plus 1 is 2, so that does check out. And then for the other equation, y equals negative x plus 6, got to be careful. But we'll put the 2 in for y and a negative 4 in for the x. So it becomes a negative 4 there. And plus 6, negative 4 plus 6 is 2. 2 equals 2. So that also checks out. That means we did this right, most likely, unless we just had a computational uh, an algebra error and a graphing error. Very unlikely. And this last one, y equals negative 5x plus 10. We go up 10. We start at the y-intercept. Put that there at positive 10. Then we're going to go down 5 and write 1 because the slope is negative 5. That's the same thing as negative 5 over 1. And that's a negative slope. So we're going to go down 5 and write 1 from the first dot that we put. It gives us a dot right there. I can do that again. Now we draw a straight line. Now we're going to graph y equals 1 third x minus 6. So we're going to go down 6. Start with the y-intercept. Our slope is a positive 1 third. So that means from the first dot that we put, we're going to go up 1 and right 3. And we can already kind of tell where the lines are going to intersect, but I'm going to graph this. And it looks like they intersect right there at the point 3, comma, negative 5. And you can check this by putting them into both equations, and that's a great way to check, uh, especially if it's a multiple choice question. You should never miss a multiple choice for one of these. So if you have any kind of questions, ask your math teacher.